Hey everybody, um, it's very early spring still, and uh, I'm going to show you in this video how I approached uh, fishing in the spring, very early. The water's still cold, uh, probably lower to mid-40s. I'm not expecting any fish at all, um, but I'm going to go out and I'm going to look around and um, see if things changed and hit a bunch of spots. That's generally how... I like to start fishing in the year. Hi everybody. Uh, uh, Jerry here. Uh, it's a cold, wet, uh, dreary day. Um, it was rain. The water level very high. Um, actually came up, it looks like, uh, about uh, close to a half a foot at least. So, um, not sure what's going to do, but uh, I like to take advantage of like a cold spring day to check out new water and uh, that's what we're going to do and try You can also uh, take the time to uh, try different lures, or patterns, or uh, whatever you do, and uh, see how they run, and uh, just try different new things. Not really different, but just uh, test things out. When I'm fishing like this, I'll take a few casts. Um, I might try to bottom, might try to midsection. I don't think with this cold, you're gonna get much going on on the and, top. Uh, would know. Um, you get an idea of how things changed and if anything's going on. But uh, just move around. The fish will come sooner than you think. Been doing a lot of walking today. Uh, I tried. Well, I looked at a couple of coves for later in the spring. Today actually feels like a late fall day. It really looks like it feels like one too. Uh, but definitely the water is still very cold. Um, I'm going to check out a couple lobes back here. And Real quick, this is the, the weed crawl. Um, that I was throwing that broke the other day and I fixed it I just put a I found a, a ballast roll so I cut off the one end with the long point and put it right in there and I just epoxy it right in and this sucker's as good as new but uh, it ain't working yet <laughs> the water is cold okay, see you in a bit nice pop to it also a nice These are one or two time use. Uh, uh, I don't know, maybe that foam will hold up, but. There's really not too much going on right now. Um, I'm surprised that uh, the water's. High, a lot higher than I was here last, but uh, I think it's got to draw it down a little bit. We're gonna go try throwing the jig out here, um, but there's some weeds out there. It might be a little deep. Um, and then Of water I'm trying 
there's a rocky outcrop there there's not too many weeds but um, the golden rule if you can find rocks and weeds with a nice drop off um, that's uh, gold but uh, take what you got and uh, uh, fish it um, like I said when you fish a new body of water try a lot of spots uh, look for stark changes and uh, fish them you know if it doesn't produce uh, look for another spot uh, until you, you hit something that pays off. And then uh, the next time you go out, you can either start there, work new water like I did today, or go back to a spot that produces. Um, but uh, there's definitely a time investment when you're fishing new water. And you're not going to do great, but you may do great, but remember, you're, you're, you're scouting out. and This is the time of year to to see uh, how everything is laid out. And this way you can plan your attack in spring, spring, and uh, early summer, uh, and the rest of the year. Uh, so this is a great time of year to check out new water. And that's what we're doing today. And we'll finish the day with a walk along the beach. It actually looks fantastic. Um, I like the way it looks. Just looking around the seals or, or birds or bait. Um, I didn't really see too much life today. Things got to warm up. It's still cold out. And uh, I couldn't probe around too well today uh, with this wind, but uh, check it out the next time.